you know, but I, I did speak with um, Tade Pogachar's UAE team doctor, uh, Dr. Jeroen Swart, a South African, and he, he had some interesting comments. He said, you know, we've analyzed Pogachar's blood and he has the most amazing recovery uh, metabolites in his blood that it, it's something that they've never seen before with, with other riders on, especially on the UAE team. So the fact that he can recover better than anyone else that they know of is a huge factor. And Roglic seems to be, you know, based on what we saw in the Giro last year, seems to not recover as well and drop his performance over a three week race. You know, we've seen Pogachar win the Tour of L'Avenir as even when he, when he was a little bit younger, I mean, he's 21 now, but he won the Tour of L'Avenir, a stage race uh, against the best young riders, U23 riders. So he, you can see that, you know, his, his strength is there. He gets stronger as the, as a stage race goes on. Uh, and it, it's becoming apparent he's going to be the next dominator. Yeah. Alex, that interview that you had with the UAE team doctor, I've got to say it was a, a fantastic conversation and really enlightening. Uh, I encourage everybody to go check it out. We have the full, full interview up on the site. Really cool insight into just a little bit of the physiological makeup of this young Tour de France winner who we just witnessed do something absolutely incredible this tour. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's amazing, Alex. It's, you were right. I will completely give you credit. You predicted that it was going to be a young man's Tour de France this year for you know, a lot of reasons, mainly being these older guys, they need more race miles than they've gotten in 2020. But seeing Egan Bernal, he was the youngest rider just a year ago to win the Tour de France in the modern era. And now we uh, lowered that age by another year. It's, it's pretty special. The t talented group of young riders in the peloton that we have, you know, we, we are harping on about it just day after day. Remco Evenepoel, Matthew Van Der Poel, Wout Van Aert, Tade Pogacar. There are so many exciting times for cycling. And I think my takeaway for this tour is Jumbo Visma. They came in. I think the Jumbo Visma did everything right. They've got to walk away with their head held high. They delivered Primoz Roglic to the time trial with, you know, what everybody thought should be a winning margin. And they just got beat by somebody who put out something really special.